Hi, everybody. Stephen Collins' attorney speaks out on the alleged molestation confessions, which were recorded by Stephen's estranged wife. He says in an attempt to bring him down. No, no, this didn't just bring him down. This basically imploded his life. Police swarming his house last night, suspecting that he might have killed himself, a secret life, sex addiction, pedophilia. The allegations are not only horrific, but some are criminal. And not simple. I mean, no. let me tell you, no. each layer we unpeel reveals more questions. What does wife Faye Grant know, and when did she know it? Is he a psycho predator, sex addict, or a guy being set up by a scorned ex for millions? A lot of information to sort through for you tonight, so let's get started. I hope it isn't true. But if it is true, this isn't a sex addiction. This could be pedophilia. It could also be exhibitionism with a target uh, that is exclusive to children. The alleged secret double life of the Seventh Heaven pastor doesn't end there. There is a report he was sneaking to his 10-year-old victim's bedroom wearing only a towel. Another claim, Stephen went through a 12-step program for sexual addiction and saw a therapist for the problem. And a source tells us there could be even more, including adult men. If the allegations about having sex with over 100 men uh, out in hotels when he was on location are true, that really has no legal bearing so long as that was consensual legal sex. It may be troublesome to a wife, but that's not a criminal matter. So why is this all coming out now? And if Faye knew, why didn't she do something about it? Unless Faye is a mandated reporter, she has no legal responsibility to report sexual assault at all. Colin's side is that this is all about money. His attorney told TMZ, quote, Faye has repeatedly threatened to give this audio tape to the media unless Stephen agreed to pay her millions of dollars, more than that to which she was legally entitled. It appears that she has finally found an audience for this tape, not surprisingly, on the eve of the trial in the divorce case. I don't necessarily think that things are mutually exclusive. He could be a molester, and she could also want more money. It doesn't have to be either or. It could both be going on. The voice has not been authenticated. Uh, the victims have not been verified. If it's not true, what? How do it, you man, it's, it's awful hard to unring that bell, and I'll tell you why. America reads headlines, and headlines are the scandal, and page 17, column four down at the bottom, is the retraction. Yep. You're the only thing in my life that does feel right, don't you know that? Collins had many roles that, in looking back, take on new meaning, including an affair with a teenage babysitter played by Carrie Russell. And on Seventh Heaven, he counseled a victim of sexual abuse. I'm sorry that happened to you, but it wasn't your fault. You're not responsible for this man's criminal behavior. Meanwhile, there were fears last night that Collins had killed himself. The LAPD responded to a report of a gunshot at his home. 